now let's get to some predictions. Let's get to the big money Ooh. stuff. Let's get to the the stuff that everyone wants to to really see what's going on. So, and we're gonna go through, and we're gonna start with Justin because I go across here. Uh, Justin and everyone in the chat, feel free to free to play along and leave in the comments if you're watching later. Leave a comment with all of your uh, predictions as well. Queen of the Ring final. Uh, Lyra Valkyria versus Nia Jax or Bianca Bel Belair. Who's going to win it? Well, it's going to be Lyra versus Nia Jax. Um, I'm going to follow through with Lyra on the logic of Nia Jax is just such already an established heel. While her as an obnoxious queen would be something, I'm just going to go with it could do more for Lyra's identity. That said, I want to acknowledge something that I we talked about on Busted Open and I've seen people on social. Wouldn't it be something, though, if Nia Jax was going to win this? Nia Jax is part of that family tree. Mm. But Dwayne Johnson showed, mm -hmm. what if she was the first female member officially in the bloodline? Yeah. I'm going Lyra, but I just want to put that out there. Consider it, a, consider it a reason to watch the show and just see what happens. Adam Staples saying Nia Jax versus Lyra and Nia wins. Baby Ice says Nia. Baby Ice always picks the bad guy. Uh, Tut Graf says Nia Jax as well. You know what? I'm going to say Nia Jax as well. I think her being the queen of the ring would just be so unbearable. Unbearable would be great. But you know what? I I want to. I would love to see her join the bloodline. Justin, I'm with you. I'd like to see her take it over. I'd like her to be the new tribal chief for right now. I think her being the boss of everyone. I could imagine her well, yelling I, at I, at. <laughs> At uh, Paul Heyman, I think she could be the she could be fantastic. Well, I could see so, her. I could see her yelling at Paul Heyman, but it would be to, to the bloodline has such heel power. If you could extend it into the women's division, that's something. Mm -hmm. If you could extend that, and you know, that's uh, yeah. Dro Dro saying Naya as well. Baby guys says welcome back to Team Heel. Uh, Tommy says Lyra for the major upset, uh, and then uh, Adonde says. Um, Lyra could really use this, but Nia takes a lot of L's. Tough call. Jimmy, what's your pick? Well, you, you made it really tough for me, Jack, because I was thinking, I was leaning Nia Jax in this one. And since we have the bet <laughs> going on, you're, I almost want to go the other way, but I'm sure we'll we'll go the other way on a different one. So I'm going to take Nia Jax because I think uh, in this case, yes, we traditionally have heel uh, King of the Rings and Queen of the Rings because it makes sense for them to be the pompous person with the crown, but if I, and yes, Laya could use this. It would really propel her career, but a great showing here against Nia Jax would help Lyra just as much. I think if not, uh, it won't be as much as the queen of the ring, but unfortunately I have to agree with you, Jack. I'm going to go Nia. <laughs> so you're going to get this one, right? Uh, <laughs> we, our next matchup. And I want everyone's opinion on this one. This is going to be an interesting one as well. Uh, Gunther versus Randy Orton or Tama Tonga. And I got to give a shout out to Ryan who puts these together. All capitals with Gunther in the name, by the way, the mm -hmm. right way to spell the ring general's name. There you go. I am going with, I think it'll be Gunther versus Randy Orton. And I think Gunther's going to win it. I think, I think, uh, bloodline's going to get involved, but I think Gunther's going to get the win and Gunther will be your king general. Uh, Jimmy, what about you? Okay, so you're going Gunther. I'm, I'm keeping Wait, you, said, you, said, you said Bloodline's gonna get involved. I think, I think they'll get some revenge on Randy Orton. It'll be a uh, okay, 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 okay. Now, I, I kind of get that, and I, you know, I think Gunther versus Randy will be a mass, would be a master clinic in ring, in ring psychology and how to tell story and have a really hell of a match, but. I got a feeling that, yeah, I know it's two heels, but oh boy, this is a tough one. I'm going to go uh, Tama Tonga only because I I have a feeling that someone from the bloodline will have be holding a crown, and if you need Ooh. someone to hold the crown, I know I'm going to I'm going to go off the I'm going off the board with Tama Tonga. Jimmy with a spicy pick, Tama Tonga. Does anyone in the chat? Adam Staples saying Gunther, Chris Bricks saying Gunther, Tutcraft saying Gunther, uh, Dro saying Gunther. Uh, it's Gunther all the way, Justin. 
What do you say? Look, I, I had Tama Tong in the finals when I thought it would be him versus Jay. I just thought it makes sense to have this new new addition to this new bloodline against Jay Uso. But mm-hmm. I, now that J, Jay's not involved, it, it does seem weird to have Tama Tong lose in a semifinal match. But I also just think it's even weirder to have Tama Tonga versus Gunther, a heel versus heel. Uh, even uh, even though I think the people respect Gunther to a certain extent for his work, I'm gonna have to say it's Gunther versus Randy Orton, and it's gonna be fire, first time ever, as best I know. But if they didn't have Gunther lose up to this point, if they didn't have him lose to let main event Jey Uso go on and yeet in the finals, I don't think that they have any plan for Gunther to lose. So I'm picking Gunther. The ring general as your king of the ring. Oh, man. It's going to be so good. I will say this. I will, I'll be, yeah. will be honest from a match standpoint. I hope I'm wrong. Because well, Randy versus Gunther. I've said it on Twitter a couple of times that I think Randy Orton is the most complete wrestler on the planet today. Of course, I got a lot of heat for it because I left out whoever's favorite. Why was, are but, you so biased, Jimmy? Uh, the, oh, yeah, because the, the check he- stamp, you know what I mean. He couldn't hold a candle to Okada, Jimmy. <laughs> yeah, how many matches in the Tokyo Dome has he had, Jimmy? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I haven't watched any. Anyways, I don't know. <laughs> has he had? He might have had one. I thought he might have had one way back when. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, uh, Tuckcraft says uh, he respects the pick, Jimmy. I, 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 I'm proud of you for picking that one. I should almost give you double points if you get that one right, but I won't. <laughs> I'll take him. I'll take him. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, I'll let you pick the next one first because that's how it's going to go, anyways. Intercontinental oh. Championship Triple Threat: Sami Zayn, Chad Gable, Bronson Reed, Jimmy. Who's going to be the Intercontinental Champion after all this is over? Uh, I'm going to stick with Sami, and he retains. Yes, uh, Bronson Reed has been making a lot of noise lately and sounding like a big mean monster. Chad Gable is. Uh, I think he doesn't need it. I, don't, I really don't. I think he's doing such a great job. And you can get away with him not being pinned. But what you do with Bronson Reed, I know he needs a big win somewhere down the line. But at the same time, Sammy is a great representative. People love him. Why? Don't do it yet. Don't let him lose just yet. So I'm going to go with Sammy. Yeah, we got a lot of Sammys in the chat here, uh, Justin. Are yeah. you going to let that sway you? I'm sticking with Sammy. I think he's the Intercontinental Champion they want right now. I think Chad Gable's got a future of stuff, as we talked about earlier with Otis. Uh, and then Bronson Reed. I, I think that they have, see a value in Bronson Reed, but it's just you know not not everybody can be champion. There's only so many champions. Right? I could see Bronson Reed even, you know, they put him on WWE Speed, with three minutes or less, and he's able to use his dominant power to squash and beat a ricochet and takes a speed title just to, if they wanted just to keep him um, – taking steps forward so to speak but yeah but in terms of this i'm saying Sami Zayn. well i thought an interesting question was posed earlier today or a comment was um mind body soul if i have to pick between those three i pick the body i'm going big bronson reed for Ooh, this one baby uh-oh. i think that i, I you're I'm just going- dying to shave some hair aren't you <laughs> <laughs> Manscaped, get on this, baby. You can make a killing. Arm on hair, show. chest hair. <laughs> move on down to the Manscaped region. Jack, you're going to be like a Ken doll. Hey, I, I, I got all the gimmicks from them. So if you need... If you need... <laughs> Smooth as a baby. We got uh, Bronson Reed. Look, because I, I feel like Sammy and Chad, they've got all this stuff going on, whether they have the title or not. Bronson Reed, you put a championship on him. Now both those guys have to chase him for it. I think you could build some story out of it. Plus, I support Bronson Reed. He has cool entrance music. Uh, <laughs> we've got uh, Justin. You're up next. Women's World Championship match: Becky Lynch versus Liv Morgan. All the momentum is in the favor of, and we need a title change on the show. Liv Morgan is going to take this title. Yeah, I agree with you. I don't know if there's, I, I don't really have a whole lot to add to it. I think that everything we've talked about, this is Liv Morgan's to win. Yeah. Jimmy, try uh, to write back me down for you. No, I, I agree with you guys. I think it's a three ways. Uh, it's unanimous decision here because, like you said, if there's one title change that makes any kind of sense on this card, this is the one. Everyone is saying Liv except for Bianca, who's saying Becky still. 
So, uh, Bianca, the, the outlier here. Uh -huh. uh, oh, no, say no, live. Oh, never mind. Hmm. No outliers. Uh, usually, usually there's one in every crowd. What? There's no, no outliers on that one. Uh, undisputed WWE Championship match, Cody Rhodes versus Logan Paul. Come on, Cody Rhodes. Cody Rhodes is winning this. What? I mean, I mean, even the, the, the other titles, not like there's no, come on. Uh, Jimmy, should I, I write would, Logan Paul for you? No, I wouldn't even write Even to, to try and, you know, make a different pick just for the bet purposes, I wouldn't do that because it, it just makes no sense, though. If it was a title versus title, you know, like last week I, I said I had a, what I thought would be an interesting scenario if it was a title versus title match, how to get out of that. But, uh, since it's not title versus title, I'm still going to give it to you anyways. What do you think of this? If this were the finish, if it was title versus title, we get a little bit of a referee distraction. Logan Paul loads up the knucks. The referee catches him, pulls the knucks away, and as he turns around to give it to the ringside attendant or whoever is out there, he pulls out a second set of knucks. Bam. Blast Cody. Sticks it under his arm. Covers. One, two, three. Referee goes, gets the belt, the world championship, hands it to Logan Paul, and then he goes to raise his arm. As he's holding this arm up, he raises the other arm. The knucks fall out. Mm -hmm. Referee goes, picks him up, goes, what the hell is this? What the hell is this? Oh, my God. Re nope. This is it. Reverse the decision, DQ, and then you can have a match with them later down the road. And that's a, just my fantasy way of getting out of it, if it was title versus title. But since it's not, I think it's going to be a win by Cody I mean, I think Cody absolutely leaves Jeddah, Saudi Arabia, still champion. But even with it only being for the for Cody's world title, if you just wanted to give people just a kind of a funny, oh my God, really, you could still do that finish, Jimmy. And if the ref sees the knocks, and I mean, I, you're the referee here. Mm -hmm. Are you in favor of one, two, three bells rang, and then all of a sudden you, you catch the knocks? Can a ref reverse decision after? Can he start the match back over? Can Adam Pierce come out and start like? That actually is a very creative kind of fun finish. Everybody assumes this is so predictable. Cody's winning. Cody's winning. Cody's winning. But just to give people that finish and for that brief moment, go, oh my god, what the hell? Just did, did Logan Paul just pin him? That, that's what I was thinking. That was my my thought process behind this idea for a finish because people would go, oh, what the hell did we just see? I didn't expect this coming, and you know, I think it would work, especially from a referee standpoint, because the referee could say. You know, obviously, you're supposed to witness it as opposed to assume. But yeah. in this case, and you know, I think maybe even restart the match, like you said, Justin. Just say no, no, no. My only you question know? would be, and I, and I don't, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not trying to talk down to the no. fan fan base there. I always wonder when trying to book things like this when they're doing these shows in Saudi. I think they've gotten better over the years. I think the, in the more recent shows they've done there, it feels like the fans that are there, especially the fans that are close to the ring, are truly into it. I think I always think back to the first few shows I did in Saudi Arabia mm -hmm. where you looked ringside and it was like people obviously of higher class mm -hmm. sitting in like these lounge chairs. And I don't even know if they follow the product, but they were just there because of a status thing or whatever. And it was just like, I feel like lately though, it's been more people that are following the product and get into it, which I hope. And mm -hmm. so I, what I'm saying is if you did the, I mean, they would call that a dusty finish. Mm -hmm. you, you, you know, mm -hmm. would would the crowd in Saudi Arabia be playing along enough? Would they be understanding what's going on? Uh, I guess that's just maybe that's an ignorant statement of me to make, and I'm sorry if it is. That's my only thing: is just setting in, in place with it. But I, I think it's a great thing to try to do. Just make people give people a, a quick cliffhanger. Oh my God, is Logan? Did Logan Paul just beat Cody Rhodes? Did he I really just I do that? In, in, in my thought process, I think it, that would be the exact place where it might work better if you or if you did it at a backlash in, in mm. Lyon, France or somewhere like that, where they're not spoiled like the more North American yeah. fans going, oh, you got to be kidding. No, I'm not. Yeah. That, you know, yeah. headline Canadian says Americans are spoiled. <laughs> uh, we <laughs> yeah. Well, that would be top story and top story <laughs> at 11. <laughs> uh, no, this so. This will be a fun one. Everyone in the chat, uh, again, go to the comments and leave your predictions uh, real quick. It's going to be Queen of the Ring Final, King of the Ring Final, Intercontinental Championship, Women's World Championship, and Undisputed WWE Championship. Uh, leave your predictions in the chat. We'll see if, or in the comment section, we'll see if anyone gets gets 100%, gets them all right. That'd be fun we, to see. We still don't know what you put on the line, Jack. 
Uh, I don't know. I don't know what to, I don't know what to put on the line. Jack, what would make you, what would make you uncomfortable doing this podcast? Like if you were like, I'm uncomfortable now. What do you? No, know? Like, I mean, I, I don't know. Like if you had to do this podcast, like I don't know. Like no, no. no. <laughs> uh, um, <laughs> we'll we'll think of something. We'll th- we'll think of something. I don't know. We'll think it's well, we'll we'll try to come up with something. Um, maybe I have to grow, I'll, I'll grow my mustache in. Maybe that'll have to be what it is. No, um, but if you grow the mustache in, you have to shave the rest of it off. Oh, yeah, of course. So I'll, I'll do it. Shave your the- eyebrows. <laughs> I'm not <laughs> shaving my eyebrows. Oh, come on, do it for the people. <laughs> right. I should have, I should have done it in my younger years. Have you seen those pics? My goodness. <laughs> uh, you do the podcasts. Uh, standing up and you gotta like constantly be like in dance look, step i don't know like, look look jimmy's only gotta have a bust like, his I've, I've have a feeling jimmy's facial hair grows back in one day he's probably like carrying cross he probably just holds yeah. his nose it blows and it just pops out so that's See, not a big <laughs> most people brush their teeth three times a day i gotta shave three times a day yeah, see, yeah, this will grow back in a day. I gotta think. What's, what's, what's that's, my? What, that, what's, that, that, that's called the Greek curse. Yes, exactly. <laughs> so uh, I will grow out my facial hair, and then I'll shave it in a mustache for an episode. You have to wear a hat and suppress that good head of hair. Oh yes, that too. Both. No, it's got to be a combination then. Okay, a hat, hat and, and stash. Yeah, because you 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 piss Jimmy and I off with your good flowing hair just <laughs> out there flaunting. Under your headphones oh, there. this old thing? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, rub it in. Keep rubbing it in. Yeah. <laughs> okay, you, don't, you, don't, you don't wash your hair for a week before we do the podcast next week. That's, oh, you yeah. can't comb it and can't comb it. Actually, I'm not on next Monday. Hang on. I'm not on next Monday. I'm out because I'm on vacation for the holiday. Mm. Oh, damn. Now this just, uh, this, this just affected me. I'm not going to be able to see oh, the cash. No. <laughs> this is... I will, yeah. So I'll grow a mustache. I'll wear it, I, and I won't brush my hair. I'll have bad hair. I'll make. I'll purposely make my hair as bad as possible. Or get a get a henta tattoo on your forehead of Jimmy's name. <laughs> it's henta. It'll it'll wash off in a few days. Off. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I, I gotta set that set, set that up. I'll uh, I'll I'll, I'll do. A, I'll give myself a mohawk for the show next week if I okay. if I lose. Just take some sacrifices. Oh, wow. Take take yeah. one of the team. Take one for the <laughs> <laughs>